Hey guys, if you own one of these gorgeous plants like I do, the Raffidophora decursiva, and you haven't yet staked your plant, then you are bound to get some leggy pieces coming out from it. Now in this video, it's all about dealing with a leggy Raffidophora decursiva. I'm going to be explaining what it is that you can do, how to um, propagate the leggy bits, but also how to stake your current plant uh, so that you don't keep running in to this crazy problem. Now, just to give you a little preview, these are just some of the runners that I've had uh, come off from this plant right here. Now, I've already um, chopped these off because as you can see, they are extremely leggy. So I'm going to show you what you can do to propagate these pieces, um, how to stake up your current plant uh, so that you don't have to repot it. And also, I've uh, propagated one of these other leggy pieces from another Raffidophora decursiva that I have and I'm going to show you how to pot this up once you've propagated it. All right guys, so obviously the first step is to remove the very leggy parts from your Raffidophora decursiva. Now I've already done that, I've removed two super leggy pieces, but as you can tell, I've kind of kept a little bit of the legginess on the plant and the reason for that is because I'm going to want to attach this um, to something to keep it upright. What's gonna happen is that's going to grow up on the whatever I'm using to stake it and that's going to help the foliage grower. You're gonna get more fenestrations and it's also going to avoid the problem of legginess. What's happening is your plant is growing. If it's not staked or you're not using a moss pole, it's searching for light and it's creating these super uh, long sections between the different nodes. So uh, as you know, and as I showed, I've removed two super leggy pieces, but I've kept um, some of the length uh, on them so I can stake it up. Be sure to use a very clean, sharp knife or preferably um, a really clean pair of sharp um, pruning shears to remove these. And I'm going to get to what you can all do with this in a minute. But first, what I'm going to do is correct this. Now, I just repotted this not too long ago and I should have um, staked this up with a stake or a moss pole when I repotted it. I made the mistake of not doing that. So if you are uh, repotting your, um, Rafi Defora decursiva, then check out this video right here. I explain exactly the soil composition and everything you know, need to know when it comes to repotting your plant. Uh, but right now what I'm going to do is because I've already repotted this, I don't want to repot this uh, now, it's too soon. So what I've done is I've picked up some really long, I'm not sure if this is gonna be in the entire shot, but I believe these are some five foot um, cedar stakes and this is going to work great. I'm going to stake this in here. I'm going to use some Velcro tape to kind of reattach this uh, plant so that it's growing upwards. It's getting the light conditions that it needs. Uh, and I'll touch on all of that and how to do this very easily uh, up next. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler. And if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or better yet, you can hit that subscribe button. Now to really show me some love, click on the bell for alerts and notifications for future content and take a look at my merch store, tylermossup.com. All right, so when it comes to inserting your stake into your pot, there are a few things you wanna be aware of and think about. So um, in my repotting video, I explained that it's a really good idea to use a deeper, um, more narrow pot for these types of plants so that the root system has space to kind of grow and um, do that. But obviously when we're inserting uh, a sharp stake like this, we wanna keep it as far away uh, from the roots and the root ball as possible. So I'm gonna keep this to the edge of the uh, pot and just carefully um, insert that into the container like so. Put some, and I don't think I've hit any roots, which is great. That seems quite stable. I'm just going to kind of press down 
the soil mix in and around um, the steak just to give it a little bit more stability. And now I'm going to cut off some pieces from this and attach that very carefully. Uh, so let me uh, do that and I'll be right back to show you uh, the finished product so that we can move on to how to propagate uh, this plant and how to repot one that's been uh, already propagated. All right, so attaching the steak, putting the steak in went really easily as you guys saw. Attaching um, the uh, Raffi Defora uh, Decursiva to it also was a fairly uh, easy process. Now, just a few things to keep in mind. This obviously looks um, not the greatest, but in a week or two, the plant will have some time to readjust the leaves. Um, you know, it will reorient themselves and it will look um, a lot better and adjust accordingly uh, to being on the stake. And just make sure that you kind of loosen the leaves and uh, make sure that everything is kind of where it needs to be. Um, the Velcro tape is amazing to uh, connect this to the stake. Um, now just be careful, you don't wanna kind of push or maneuver anything that's not ready to be kind of moved about. So for example, I have, um, you know, a, a part of the plant that's coming down this way and it's just not long enough to attach to the stake. So I'm gonna leave that bit for now. But as you can see, I've managed to um, attach the rest of this plant in an upward direction. It's going to be much happier uh, like so. And I'm gonna set this aside and show you how easy it is to propagate this plant and what all is involved in repotting one that you've propagated and I'm gonna do the same type of setup with a stake like this um, and I'll show you what soil composition I'm, I'll be using today as well. Now a really easy and effective way to propagate your Raffi Defora Decursiva is to use a water propagation method. Now uh, all that involves, it's really simple, is having a container that you can fill up with water, place uh, your uh, leggy part into to that container, make sure that there are at least one or two nodes that are covered by water. And uh, after two or three weeks time, you'll start to see some roots develop and come out. And after about a month or so, you should have what I have now, which is a pretty decent uh, root system. But before I get to anything more, I think this is a great example of what will happen if you don't stake your Rafi Dephora decursiva. So as you can see here, the there were a handful of um, leaves that were already started on uh, this uh, clipping. You can see here there's one fenestration, and then I'm not sure if this leaf uh, grew subsequent to me uh, propagating it in this container, but as you can see, there are two fenestrations, and the leaf is about the same size. But because this wasn't um, climbing or mounted to a sort of moss pole or stake, you can actually see that the next leaf is smaller, the fenestrations, um, you know, aren't as pronounced. And then to take it a step further, now the plant is definitely not maturing because the following leaf has zero fenestrations. And this is exactly why it's very important to stake uh, up this plant because it allows it to mature. And if it's done properly and your um, Raffi Defora decursiva is happy and staked, um, the exact opposite opposite should happen where as it climbs you should get larger and larger leaves and more and more fenestrations and what I personally love about this plant is the leaves can become incredibly uh, large with many many fenestrations a lot more than just two um, we're talking two feet by two feet huge uh, so that will take some time but uh, because the roots on this are ready to go I'm going to be using this container it's got great drainage and it's nice and deep um, I'm going to be using the same type of cedar steak and I'm going to include um, some succulent kind of gritty mix at the base of this to really help with drainage but also create some stability for the steak. So I'll be right back and I'm going to show you what kind of aeroid mix I'm using to pot up this newly um, ready um, 
propagated Rafi Dufora de Cursiva. All right, guys, so this is the soil mix that I'm going to be using. It has one part of horticultural charcoal, one part peat moss, and one part um, composted uh, pine bark and pine bark, and also about half a part of perlite. Now, I did go ahead and add about two or three inches worth of this sort of gritty succulent mix. You could go ahead and add a little bit more to this, but because I've added some to the base, uh, I'm really not worried about adding more. Uh, if you do have some sand, uh, you could go ahead and add a little bit, I would say a quarter part of that to this mix too, but this is a great aeroid mix and my propagated Rafi Defora Decursiva should be super happy. So let me pot it up and show you guys what it all looks like. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Now, I did go ahead and add the plant and the soil mix before adding the steak, and I find that um, I can just get a more stable, stable steak in there by doing it that way. But if you are doing it this way, it is important to ensure that the roots are kind of off to the side so that you're not damaging any of the roots when you go to insert the steak. So basically guys, now I'm ready to take this propagated piece and just very carefully uh, link this um, with the um, Velcro tape to the steak. And then I'm going to set this aside in, I have the perfect spot picked out for it so I can get the ideal lighting conditions. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a really healthy uh, watering. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what that looks like when it's uh, staked up or when it's uh, Velcroed up, I should say. All right, guys, so I only needed to attach this in two different points. And the tip that I would share here is you don't wanna kind of stretch it out and pull this like as tight as possible because obviously uh, the plan is only so flexible, but also you don't wanna use up a lot of the height on your um, stake so that it has room to kind of fill out and you're not constantly changing it out because it's kind of surpassing your steak. Now this is a five foot steak, so it is quite high and there should be some uh, room for this to kind of grow and get bigger. This is a super small container, which is the perfect size for uh, a starter plant like this. And as time goes on, I'll be able to uh, propagate this or and also repot it into um, a more appropriate pot size as it grows and gets bigger. But that's basically it. And what I've done is I've created, um, I'm reusing the same container, I filled it up with some fresh new uh, fancy well water that we have here. And I'm going to basically just be putting these two pieces that I chopped off uh, from my parent plant. And in a month uh, or so worth of time, uh, there should be some really nice, well-developed uh, root system. Now, don't be surprised if you do see the plant kind of lose some maturity. And what I mean by that is the leaves uh, get a little bit smaller or uh, they lose, new leaves lose some of those fenestrations because like I explained earlier in the video, that's just something that happens when the plant isn't staked up and it's not growing and maturing. Um, so that's basically it. What do you guys think? I'm going to have a lot of these plants uh, at the end of the day growing, which is kind of fun because I do love them. Uh, definitely a favorite of mine. Leave a comment down below. Uh, have you had the same experience with a leggy Rafi Defora decursiva like I have? If you haven't yet staked yours up, I highly recommend that you do so because this is just going to be something that keeps persisting and keeps reoccurring. Um, that's been the case for me and I really do wish that I staked mine much earlier, especially when I had that opportunity in repotting it. But be sure to check out some of the other care videos I've done on this plant where I detail all of the things you need to know in terms of caring for this plant. Um, fertilization, light, soil mix, 
and basically all of that plus a ton more. I'll be sure to throw up a couple more links in the description and right up here. So be sure to check out those videos and yeah, have a great day. Well, that's it for me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to my channel. Miss you guys already, until the next one.